Whatever you're here for, I hope you find it. Hey there, people. My name is Tagore, and welcome back to Darksiders 2. We start making our way up the Crystal Spire. I, I remember what's at the top, but I don't remember much of the rest of this. So already we see a chest. Let's see if I can get that. Looks like we can. Yep, no problem. Nothing too interesting from it, though. Dust is flying in the distance, and we should. Yep, we can already see just how far up we are. Okay. Kneel before us. I apparently don't have anything in my sub. <laughs> I guess I want that book. Now, I'm not sure if I can fall from here. I want to say that I can. Hold on, there's a stone. There it is. Uh, I want to say that I can fall. But at the same time, there's no real way for me to know until I try it. Which I don't want to. Alright, I'll death grip you. And then execute you. So I was going to say, oh, wait. Oh, there's a coin. Uh, I was going to say that I could go back and blow up those crystals, but I think I have to, actually. Is this even the right thing to do? the crystals. Mm, just barely. Let's see if that blew them up. I think normally... Uh, yes, it did. Yeah, normally you only have to blow up like one of them and it'll blow up the entire thing. Interesting. I didn't know I could grab this. Wait, this is it? I thought there was more to this. Out of the shadows and into the light. I see you, horseman. The things you have done, the lives you have ended. I know why you are here. Then you will give me the key. I have guarded the key for centuries. It is mine, and I will not part with it lightly. Not now. Corruption spreads in our city, in our hearts. Only I remain pure, a beacon against the darkness, helpless to push it back. We are not all helpless, Arkham. Huh. Perhaps not. 
After the seals were broken, and Hell's legions loosed upon the Earth, many divine relics were lost. One, the Rod of Arafel, could help reverse what has happened here. I dare not retrieve the Rod myself. The gates to the White City are closed to any angel who visits Earth. But you... are no angel. Acquire the Rod, and I will clear a path into my citadel. There you will find the key to the Tree of Life. As for what you will find on Earth, after you face it, even you may curse the name of war. Okay, so apparently there is a glitch, I guess you could call it, where if you level up from that quest, it will freeze and crash. So I real quick had to level up, and <laughs> as you can see, I've almost leveled up again. So, uh, there's, what else is there around here? Anything? That looks fake. Anyway, nothing on that platform. So, we need to go to Earth. So let's do just that. Maybe. Maybe? There we go. Portal to Earth. Quiet! There are more than corpses about. Okay. So I guess we've got to fight all these guys off. Which, it shouldn't be too difficult. I feel like my gun. Meh. I guess it doesn't do as much damage as I wanted it to. Is that it? Not quite. Well, that level up came at the perfect moment. Oh crap. Together.
Is that it? No, of course not. Looks like I that's it. I should kill you for what your brother did here, but you saved my life. Consider us even. What do you know about the Rod of Arathel? A weapon of immense power, brought to Earth by the Archon Hestis to battle the demons in the End War. But Hestis fell, and the Rod was shattered. Now the Destroyer uses its pieces to fuel his army of darkness. What was broken can be reformed. Where are the pieces of the Rod? In the hands of the Destroyer. He has summoned creatures from the Abyss, and drawn forth his chosen. Things of blasphemy, who even now divide this world into their own hellishdom. The Suffering are one such beast. They feed upon the dead of this world, and twist them into a swarm of flesh and bone that fight as one mind. It was they who attacked us moments ago. One mind, easily sundered. I will not risk more Hellguard to recapture the Rod of Arafel. But, should you wish to undertake this fool's errand, then follow the trail of corpses left by my brethren. A fool's errand? Well... It would not be my first. So that it is not your last. Take this. Uh, we get salvation. Uh, thanks for the warning. How many angels died here, Uriel? Too many. But for every dead angel, there is another, kept alive against his will. Their suffering empowers the Destroyer. Perhaps you could release them from their torment, Pale Rider. If you wish. However, all I can offer the captives is a swift end. That is blessing enough. Um, there is something that I want to get. We saw it in a cutscene earlier. I just, I don't know, I'm not sure exactly where it is. So the lightning would stop for just a moment. Also, there's that symbol. So that's what this gun does. There it is. Okay. Got it. Mystic Stone Bite. So this is a standard size car. And you can just, just you can finally see just how big death is. He's not too terribly big, but Hmm. I don't know. I'd put him at a solid maybe seven foot. Could be wrong about that. Okay, there we go. I can just put the gun down. I will be back for it. I do want to look around the plaza here. See what I can find. Just throw that desk around like it was nothing. And I thought there was something interesting in here? Could be wrong. I see a chest up there already. Is that it? Oh, there's a serpent stone. That's neat. Another chest over here. Oh, cool. I guess they don't stop attacking. There's a lot more guilt. I think I'm actually supposed to come this way. Camera's going a bit crazy.
What else is in here? What else is around here? Is there something down here? Yes, there is. Soul Arbiter Scroll. I wonder just how much experience those things give me. In any case, I'm gonna grab that gun again. Where did I put it? Where did I put that thing? Well, I know that there's one in here. Ah, yes. I thought there was a shotgun version of this, but uh, I guess I was just pressing the wrong button. there. And we can truly see how powerful this gun is. Love that car. I actually remember death being much larger. Come on. You can do it, game. At times I feel like this game is just held together by, like, toothpicks or something. Alright, he's dead. Did he drop anything? No. No, he didn't. Plenty of these guns around. They want to make sure that you have one, I guess. I thought we could change shoulders. Oh. You're dead. I can't... I can't jump while using this, and it bothers me. Uh, I do want that chest. What the heck was I targeting? Uh, more importantly, I want this. The dead page. What is that? 27. Um, there we go. We've already seen where the death tomb is for it, for the, the third page. So once I get three more, I'll be able to unlock it. Ah. Poor little guy. I want to say... Nope, I'm wrong. Okay. Wonderful. Let's go, Dust. Can I pick this up? No. Oh, 
Wait a second. Wasn't there a Hellguard back here, or do they... Do they have to be attached to walls? I am gonna check on that. Okay. Not a problem. So yes, my favorite part of the game is when it turns into a third-person shooter. Are you done now? I haven't even gained a sliver of experience. Uh, which actually makes me wonder. Did I re-equip my experience gear? Yes. Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> if I equipped one, then I equipped all of them. It's also just super hard not to level up during that one cutscene, because I was at a quarter of a level, and I leveled up. Okay. Perfect. How much more? Ah, oh, crap. That one didn't die. Is that it now? I am looking for something very specific. Not just, um, angels. But... I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you've been enjoying it. This was a nightmare for me. Uh, please join me again for another episode of Darksiders 2.